Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to view the traffic of an Android app. But first, before we get started with that, I'm going to show you how lucrative this method can be. So I'm on HackerOne here, which is a bug bounty platform. And as we scroll here, I've filtered it by Android Play Store and Android APK, which we're going to cover in this video. And as we scroll, we can see that there are a lot of bounties which all have an Android APK file that you can test and view the traffic of and find vulnerabilities. But let's get started. First of all, you're going to want to download an Android Studio. Uh, this is just an IDE for de developing Android apps, but there's one feature which is really useful for us here. And that's th the fact that it has an, an emulator. So you just want to click download here. You're gonna click this I have read the terms and you're going to want to download it and I already have this downloaded uh, but once it's downloaded open it up the first launch might take a little bit but the future one should be a little bit faster and you want to click more actions virtual device manager and then this isn't going to show up it's just going to be a blank screen with some text in the middle that says create virtual device you're going to want to click that create virtual device which is the same as clicking this plus, plus button. Then you're gonna wanna choose a hardware definition. I usually would go with the Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro. I'll go with the Pixel 8 this time. And this is basically just like the size of the screen and how dense the screen is. And here where it tells you to select the system image, you're not gonna wanna choose one from the recommended. You're gonna wanna go to the x86 images. And then you're gonna wanna download an image that has the Google APIs, not Google Play or just Android 14, the Google APIs. And it doesn't have to be Android 14. You can go with any Android version that you want. Just I'll go with Android 14. It's the latest one and it's, it's probably gonna work with a lot of apps. Uh, but if you have an older app that hasn't been updated in a while, then you might want to go with uh, Android 11 or Android 12 or even Android 10 or 9 but I'm just gonna go with 14 on this one. We're gonna click next, and then just name it something like Android Pixel 8 Test, or you can just keep the default name, it doesn't really matter. And you're gonna click Portrait, and then Graphics, you can just set to Automatic, it doesn't really matter. Then you're gonna click Finish, and you'll see this pop up here. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to click this play button. Now, while that is launching, we're just going to want to download HTTP Toolkit. And this is something that we can use to monitor traffic. And it has a lot of built-in options. Um, and again, it has an Android device here, as you can see, which just means that we can view the traffic of our emulator. So you're gonna to wanna to download this. I already have this downloaded, so I'll open it up. And you're gonna be presented with this view. And as you can see, Android device via ADB. Now you're gonna open up your emulator. Now keep in mind, the first launch, it might take a little bit because it's setting up a new device. Uh, the next launches should be faster by like a large margin. Uh, and as you can see, this is just a normal Android device. There is really nothing special to it. Now, what we want to do here is we're going to click Android device via ADB. And uh, we should see, yeah, we should see this pop up here on our device. Going to click OK here. It's connecting and it's going to make a sound, which just means that it's connected to our uh, window here on our PC. And as you can see, there's already some connections being made. And we're just going to want to ignore those for now. Now, you want to download an app that you want to test, right? But we don't have Google Play because we didn't download the Google Play version uh, of our system. So what you're going to want to do here is you're, you're going to open up APK Pure. 
apkpure.com on your browser. And this is just a site that offers APK downloads for a lot of apps, if not like all apps on the Play Store. You're gonna go on to apps and you can pick any app to test. I'm just gonna take a uh, VPN app like, uh, let's see, there was one that I tested before. I'll try to find it now. Yeah, NitroTech VPN. And once you find an app to test, you're gonna click download APK and then download APK here again. And that's gonna start the download. You can click save and then we're just gonna wait for this to download. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna show you what can happen if your app that you pick doesn't have an APK version to download. So I know for a fact that ChatGPT, the Android app, uh, doesn't have an APK. Or it, it'll tell you that it has an APK, but then when you go here, it says X APK. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click download X APK, and then you're gonna click cancel. And then where it says uh, click here, you're gonna copy this link, you're gonna open it up in a new tab, and then you're gonna delete the X from the X APK. So that's so that it's just APK. And then you're gonna click enter. And most likely it's gonna download the APK. It sometimes might not, uh, and that's just something that you'll have to deal with. You'll have to download the APK Pure app and then uh select the XAPK file from there. Uh, but most of the time this little trick will work. Now you're gonna wanna open up terminal. Terminal. Uh, I'm gonna cd into my downloads. And we can see that it finished downloading here. Now what you're gonna wanna do here is do adb root. Which is just gonna restart adb as root so we can install apps and such. And now you're gonna do adb install and then the app that you downloaded. So for me it's gonna be NitroTech VPN. And what this is going to do is just, it's going to install the app to our emulator. Now, if we go back, we can see that the app is now on our phone or our, our emulator. You can open it up and we're going to open up HTTP toolkit beside it. Now I'm going to clear the request here, which you can do by clicking the trash can. Um, and we're going to wait for the app to start up. And click consent. Accept and continue, sure. And we can see the requests streaming in here. So there's going to be a lot of Google because uh, Android is owned by Google. So there's going to be a lot of Google APIs and such. Um, but we can see atlasvps.net. And this is not Google. This is the app requesting this. And even if we click, um, let's go here. We can see that it's requesting Atlas VPS and then it's trying to open up a web socket to some random server with some kind of the telegram link. And it's not gonna connect because we're on an emulator and it doesn't really work that way. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna show you some filtering options that HTTP toolkit also provides for us. So I mentioned earlier that, we, that there's gonna be a lot of Google um, URLs being connected to. And what we can do is we can do, we can filter these requests and we can do, for example, host name and then uh, maybe like equals to, and this star means the host name is going to include that. So we can do Atlas VPS. And this is just going to show us the uh, requests to Atlas VPS. And there's other options as well, like uh, method, which can be post or get or whatever. And then if we put post, we can only see the post requests and we can do the same with get. As you can see. So there's a lot of options here uh, that you can filter by. And you can also click this question mark here, which is uh, gonna open up the help page where you can see even more descriptions. 
so if we only want to select this WebSocket connection, we can do, for example, protocol WebSocket. And it's just going to show these. And yeah, you can do this with any app uh, that you want. Um, some apps might not work because they're using a technique called certificate pinning, which just means that the way that HTTP Toolkit is working is basically by installing a certificate on our device uh, to allow us to view HTTPS traffic. But some apps um, will basically not work. They only trust system certificates or their, their own certificates, which means that we won't be able to see the traffic and requests will be failing. So you can't really test well. Uh, but in the next video, I'll cover that and how we can bypass that for today's video. That's going to be it. And I hope you guys can get some bounties and find some interesting stuff. See ya.